Ever wonder what's really important during a hurricane? Besides nailing down your lawn chairs before they take flight, of course. Well, buckle up because we're diving into the storm with everything you need to know to weather it safely and confidently. Spoiler alert, the weather will be terrible. So let's get prepared. Hurricanes. They're like nature's angry toddlers, except instead of tantrums, they bring wind, rain, and enough storm surge to turn your neighborhood into a water park. But not the fun kind. Every year, about 12 tropical storms hit the Atlantic. Half of those spin up into full-blown hurricanes. You can bet your beach umbrella that when one of these monsters is heading your way, it's time to get serious. The key to surviving a hurricane is simple. Plan ahead, stay informed, and most importantly, don't be that person who thinks, hey, it's only a category two. First things first, storm surge is no joke. It's the deadliest part of a hurricane. And believe it or not, the biggest reason people lose their lives during these storms. Imagine a wall of water crashing into your house like the Kool-Aid Man, but way less friendly. If you live near the coast, knowing your storm surge risk isn't just important, it's life-saving. But wait, it's not just the coastline that's at risk. You could live hundreds of miles inland, blissfully thinking you're safe from hurricanes, and then, boom, your street turns into a river and suddenly you're in an episode of Waterworld. Except Kevin Costner isn't around to save you. So how do you deal with this madness? With a killer emergency plan, of course. And I'm not just talking about keeping a couple of bottled waters in the pantry. No, no FEMA says you need at least one gallon of water per person per day for three days. And trust me, when the power's out and your Wi-Fi is down, you're gonna wish you had more. Water? Check. Non-perishable food? Check. Enough meds to last two weeks? Double check. But here's the thing, don't forget your pets. Fluffy needs her tuna too. And while we're at it, don't be the person scrambling for supplies last minute. Stock up early, because during a storm, those store shelves will be emptier than your gas tank after a road trip. Speaking of gas tanks, let's talk evacuation. If you're in an evacuation zone, usually labeled from A to F, with A being you should have left yesterday, you'll want to be ready to roll before the traffic jams start. And don't forget to practice your evacuation route. Leaving early is always better than trying to outrun mother nature on the highway. Now, for those of you brave souls staying put, you'll need to batten down the hatches, literally. Secure your windows, move your patio furniture indoors, and if you haven't installed storm shutters, good old plywood will do the trick. Don't underestimate your doors either. You'd be surprised what 180 MPR winds can do. A reinforced garage door, or at least a deadbolt on your front door is a must. And while you're at it, maybe start looking into a generator, because trust me, you do not want to be sitting in the dark with nothing but soggy board games for entertainment. Now let's get techie. When that storm's rolling in, your phone becomes your lifeline. Sure, texting might be your go-to, but get yourself some backup power sources like a solar charger or power bank. And for the love of all things Wi-Fi, back up your important docks in the cloud. Download the FEMA app, sign up for weather alerts, and keep that battery-powered radio handy. Information is power, literally. And staying connected can mean the difference between staying safe and becoming storm trivia. Speaking of staying safe, let's not forget the most vulnerable. If you have family members with disabilities or elderly folks, make sure their needs are part of your plan. Extra meds, backup power for medical devices, think ahead. Oh, and check on your neighbors. Being the hurricane hero of your block isn't just cool, it could save lives. Turns out 46% of people rely on their neighbors during the first 72 hours after a disaster. So be a good human, help out, share supplies and coordinate evacuation plans. Because when it comes down to it, community matters. And hey, don't forget to have a little fun with it. Play hurricane survival bingo. Load up on canned goods and whistles. Maybe even add some waterproof matches to your kit. Who says emergency prep has to be boring? When it comes down to it, your safety during a hurricane is about being prepared, staying informed, and most importantly, knowing when to take cover. So whether you're battening down the hatches or heading out of town, make sure you're ready. Because trust me, hurricanes don't care if you're not. Stay safe, stay smart, and stay storm ready. See you on the other side.